Okay guys, I'm going to start with uh, the first layer. Of course, I'll have to get my my center back, but I thought I I would like to um, first just give this a base coat. And this is a really warm chocolatey brown that I made for the people that would like to make it. It is a Van Dyke brown with orange and red. Now, depending on how much orange and red you put into it, that's that gives it that really deep, deep color. It's a really nice color, which you might remember from my pouring days, because I use that a lot. Because I don't really like Van Dyke brown. It's it's just a really cold, cold color. So that's why I always add a little orange or a little red, or both. This one I, I added both. So uh, this is uh, orange and red. Any color will do. Don't have to have the exact same tint of red that I have. And of course I always use um, Galeria from Windsor & Newton. People that have been following me for a long time know why. Because I like it. It's more vibrant than the uh, Amsterdam. And that sort of gives it just a little bit more depth. I had that with my um, with my pouring too. We uh, had a time where we had both paints and we put them together and we saw that the uh, Windsor & Newton is just a little bit more vibrant. Okay, I'm not going to bore you to death with this. I'm going to uh, let this first layer dry because as you can see it needs two. So we're going to do that in a bit. Okay, we're back. We have uh, a nice uh, background. I have the stencil which I put on top. I put the line back on for the centering of the stencil. There you go. Up there a little bit more there. A little bit. Choo, 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 oop. Okay, we're ready. Now I already mixed some, but look, it just turned so hard so fast. That is unbelievable. So I have to make new. So I've got to use it right away. And this is with the Italian pigments in it, which makes it really sort of uh like a Italian wall really looks beautiful so what I do want to do is get a, a, a little raised because I kind of like that and the sharp bits we will sand off when it's dry but I don't want it really flat and smooth and you know what I mean has to be uh, really wall looking, like an old wall. There we go. And then I'll see how long this takes to dry. I bet it's going to take a bit. Because I'm putting it on pretty thickly. A little bit up here. Okay, let's see where we are at with this. I think what you really do need is the uh, outline. The outline has to be pretty much um, thicker. In the middle it's not such a big deal. But I think this is it. Ooh, a little bit here. Okay. Before we... Oops. 
can't pick it up like that. Oh yeah, some parts are really thick, but that's nice. That is really thick in the middle there. I'm going to scrape this off and uh, I'm going to try and uh, do the uh, sides. Well, maybe not. Maybe I should put the flowers in first. Yeah, maybe not. I'm not sure because I don't know how to do this. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to scrape some of this off the stencil and put it back in the cup. See, I can use that. That's a lot. And then put the stencil in water right away because I don't want to, you know, ruin, ruin this. Okay. Now this, I don't want that thick. I just want a little bit on here. So I'm going to try and do that in one swipe because, and I don't want it exactly all the thing. I just want it to look like it's weathered and and I miss some, you know, you just miss some spots. Maybe not down here. Oops. Gotta clean that up though. Yep, that's cool looking. Let's see. There. You want that one. And this one. And about here. Oops, I went under the uh, the stencil. That's not good. Okay. That looks kind of cool. Now we're going to do this one. Yeah, that's more of what I'm looking for. Okay. Oops. Now I don't have enough at the bottom. Oh, you can't see it. I'm sorry. I don't have enough. Okay, now I do. I'm going to have to work on this. But of course, I'm always too, um, I always want everything to be too perfect. And really, that's not what you want with this. I gotta clean it up guys so I'm gonna stop videoing in a bit because um, there's a lot that I don't want on there. Yep. Okay. Oops. Gotta watch out that I don't go over that piece of the big one. That's okay. Gotta hold it up a little bit. Sometimes I wish I had three arms because that would really come in handy. I'm missing a little bit here. Okay, that's it. 
Now, what they um, what they told me is that um, you can take uh, this off with a wet brush. That's what I was told. So I'm gonna wet this a little bit and just take it off. Of course, we're gonna do some other stuff to it, painting, but there is a lot that I don't like. So here we're going to take it off. And I'm going to be kind of quick because this stuff is drying really fast. Okay, that's okay. I like that. That's okay. A little bit. This little dot here I don't like. And here along the edges I don't like it and I'm, I'm not sure if I can get this stuff off once it's dry so that's why I'm gonna do it now and I can tell you it's pretty dry already Wow that is fast okay next time I'll just see this is why I experiment on the cheaper stuff because um next time I am going to be more careful where I place the uh, where I'm going to place the stencil, I'm going to be a bit more careful in between. I'll just clean off the stencil before I put it on. Let me put it there. See this whole bit, i got to take that off because that's not something I'm really fond of. And of course you can paint over it, but you don't want the, these big blobs of plaster on there because otherwise you're not going to be getting that off. And see this one here is a, a little too thick. I don't like that. So I'm going to mold it into something that looks like it belongs there. There you go. Now it looks a little bit more like it belongs there. That's okay. That I don't mind. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff to this. Um, so I don't mind that, you know, these little, these are really flat. That's okay. This one, just make it flat. That's okay. That's going to work. This isn't going to work because that's too much plaster on there. So I'm going to take that off a little bit, this one too, that one, and here the whole line because I have this space around it. It's okay. That works out. Let me put that down there. Okay. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to sand it. Especially here because this is really high. Look at that, how high that is. Can you see that? So, um, we'll be back in a second. Okay, changed my mind, guys, because I got some of that plaster still left. I'm going to be putting some little petals on here. Oops, I'm not quite getting into there because I don't want to spill it. I'm not even sure if this is going to work because it's just paper. Ah, that works. That's number one. Then this one we'll have to use on the back. So... What I'm doing is I'm cutting so I can place it really close without sort of disturbing the uh, this because that's all wet. That's about where I was. Okay. Okay. 
Let's see if we can do this. And these are just, you know, one once you use them, you have to throw them away because they're paper, but that's okay. If you want to know how I made them, they're made with one of those embossing machines. A really tiny one. Oops. A little bit more. Okay. Oh, now I made... Now I got this one dirty. Didn't want to get that one dirty. Mm, not as good as that one, but that's okay. Now I'm not sure if this is going to work. Uh, let's see. We're going to see if this works. I'm going to put a little bit of that plaster underneath. Man, that's too big. I don't want to use that one. I want small flowers. So I'm going to put a little bit of plaster under it. Nah, see that doesn't work. Okay, we know that now. It just comes, you know, it, it'll get smooshed. Smooshed, we don't want smoosh. And I don't want to do this all around the uh, flowers because that's really tedious. We'll leave that one on. We'll find another little one. But we're gonna need something that is not as thick as this to put these little flowers on. There it is, that one's okay. Put a little less on that one. But I'm not sure if it's going to stick, and it really has to stick like crazy, or it's not worth it. And now you're thinking, oh, they're really white here, but I'm going to be painting a lot of this in a bit. Okay, I'm going to go offline and do this, guys. This uh, takes too long. Later. Okay, good morning, guys. It's really early. It's, uh, oh, not that early. It's 9.23. Okay. Um, I had these uh, flowers and leaves up here. Didn't like them. But ugly. I had to take them off. So I painted a little bit over it. But right now, what we're going to do is work with the power techs so i have white power techs and i have my italian pigments i have some power techs pigments i have all kinds of pigments i have sand power tech sand so i'm gonna be covering this first and you're going to be thinking, well, why did you color the plaster? Well, after we do this, uh, I am going to sand sand over the um, this, everything what's sticking up, the relief or whatever you call it. And uh, that's where we're going to see this sandy color, which I hope is going to be popping through the uh, the Italian. Oh, this is pretty messy though. I hope it comes off really nicely. So um, what I'm doing is just adding a little bit of Powertex. This is Powertex white. So the pigments are going to be popping up really nicely, as you can see. Got lots of pigments. Oh, gotta be careful because there are some sharp pieces on this uh, plaster and we want to wet that a little bit so that we can take it down there and put a little yeah that's looking okay
There's a little bit too much up here though. Let's see if we can get that off a little bit. So just making one little big mess out of it. But it's all kind of come together. And like I said, we do want to get some sort of a really weathered look out of this. Got to get a little bit of water in there. Got to get in between the little flowers. Okay, while I'm, while I'm doing this, I guess we can talk about other stuff. We had something really sad going on here. Uh, last Wednesday, uh, a child went missing, nine-year-old, and uh, no one really knew what was going on. And, uh, you know, normally children don't disappear in Holland. They really don't because Holland is so tiny. Someone will, you know, just see what happens and all that kind of stuff. But, um, so this child was, um, was gone for a couple of days. Then there was talk about, um, this, this man, he was playing football in a playground and other kids said a man who talked English <clears throat> talked to him and took him with him in a car. Then they found his little uh, little bicycle somewhere, somewhere totally, you know, kilometers away, which was really strange. And then they had a suspect, and then the suspect took them to the body of the little boy. He was already dead. That was really, but you know, everyone is, you know, all, the whole n social media exploded and all that kind of stuff. But today, one day after they find the, the, the little boy, it's not in the news anymore. You know, there's no trending on Twitter and it's like he's already forgotten. And that really makes me sad. You know, if you're so upset about it I'm I'm not sure how that works that a day later he's already forgotten well not by his parents and that kind of stuff of course but by the by the media and then I just think you know yeah I don't know just uh, it makes me sad that once they find him it's not a story anymore I do think that a lot of um, parents should should do that. You know, you have this. Just imagine uh, your child is at school, and uh, there's something happening, and you can't pick up your. Oh, that's the wrong pigment. <laughs> and you can't pick up your child, so someone you send someone to pick up your child from school because something happened. What I think you should do. And I'm not kidding here. I think that you should have some sort of a um, a word, a secret word. So if I were to pick up your child, you would give me that secret word. Ooh, that works out. That's nice. You would give me that secret word so that your child knows that it's okay. Like you could make a secret word like, say... I don't know, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, something like that, something really, you know, that you never use, and then if the person tells the child that, then the child knows that it's okay, and they can get in the car with them, and unless that, an, an adult, unless that adult knows that special word, shouldn't get in the car with them, right? Okay. It's a bit, a bit messy right now. 
Um, what did I want to put down here? Oh yeah, a little bit more of that. I want to get some more in between here. And yeah, not looking too good, guys. But so that was going on here in Holland for quite uh, a few days. And then police doing everything they could. Well, that's what they said they were doing. So you got to believe them. See, this I don't like that it just starts peeling off again. See, and now I like this bit, so I want to change that, and you can't change it because it starts peeling off. That's something I don't like. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's not pretty. Well, it looks pretty weathered, yeah, but that's not what we are going for. So, I guess I'm going to have to work out, work with this stuff a little bit more. Just to understand how it, how it works. Maybe I, uh, if I wet it a little bit more, it'll just stick on there. Uh, that looks like it's working. Just to fill up those little holes. We'll see. Okay. Now for color. We gotta get it, give it some color, right? See the bottom bit I like. This not so much. So we're gonna put some color in here. That is nice and patina looking. That looks pretty. And, uh, you know, when you get new materials that you've never worked with, I think you just have to work with it and see what happens. Yeah, this is looking okay. You know, that's the bit. Uh, I was looking up Powertex uh, videos on the, on the YouTube, but there's not that much about it. I kind of like what this is doing though, but I have to get a brush and get some pigments out because I can't dip my fingers in that pigment stuff. Okay, here we go. Just a itty bitty more. I, I think you, know, you might have to uh, let the layers dry in between, something like that. That's okay, I like that. <clears throat> but if you get new um, materials to work with, you've never worked with before, I think you just have to, uh, you know, ruin a, a canvas or something. Just because... Uh, then you can see how it works. nice but it takes a long time so I was that was uh, what I was saying I was looking on um, on YouTube but there's not much going on about how to use those pigments and all that stuff so it's um, I have a feeling it's sort of the whole power text is sort of like the Santangle Santangle in the beginning that no one could um, give workshops unless you were certified Santangle person, something like that, and I think that is pretty silly because you know there are people that are really good with that stuff, so don't know why. I gotta get a way to get that pigment on the uh, okay, get the brown off, and I need some water. Let's see how this works. Because I do want some more in between here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oh boy, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this together. But at least you see me struggling too, so that's cool, right? Everyone struggles once in a while. Okay, now we're gonna do a new one up here. Hope the bottom doesn't come off. There you go. And then we're gonna put a little bit of that in there. A little bit of that up here. Yeah, it's coming off. Look at that. <laughs> that is uh, that is something I gotta really check out why that happens. Okay, well, if you wet it, I see that it all goes back. It sort of turns into uh, turns back into that painty stuff. Okay, we'll let that dry, I guess. Um, it's a pretty, <laughs> it's a mess. It is. We'll see what happens. So um, I'm going to work on it a little bit more and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is three hours later. And this is what I did. So, I put a little uh, turquoise around the sides. I uh, did the gold thing. There's a little stuff going on here. A little, hoping that it would look a little bit like patina. And uh, I'm done with it because um, <laughs> I learned a lot. I really did. I learned a lot that I can take into my next one. But I think I will be uh, still experimenting for one or two canvases before I go for a really big one. I don't want to ruin a really big canvas. So um, I kind of like it. I like this best. This looks uh, really weathered and the gold really shines nicely. Uh, if you're looking for this kind of gold, it's called uh, High Sheen from uh, Deco Art. And uh, it, it really does shine, as you can see here. It really looks like metal, so that's good. But this is it. So I'll just upload the whole thing and I'm going to go on to the next because... I have all the pigments and I want to do that pigment thing I was talking to you about a few weeks ago. Uh, I had to wait for the white, so I have white. And I have the marble dust. So that's what I'm going to do. Maybe not today though, but guys, because i got to clean this up. This is one big mess. This is a mess. Around there, that's all a mess, and I already cleaned up halfway, but it is just one gigantic mess. So, um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, all love you all to pieces as usual, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.